Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Coffee with Nikki. First of all, what is Coffee with Nikki? Coffee with Nikki is a weekly broadcast targeted at senior adults or the technologically challenged, where we talk about social media and life. Uh, I wanted to prove with this video that you can actually serve people online right from your home, in your curlers, no makeup, and then your fuzzy slippers. That was the inspiration for this particular um, video series. So that being said, today's episode is called, we're going to talk about zombies. Now I'm not talking about the zombies that like eat human flesh and, you know, walking dead. Um, I'm talking about zombie posting. Um, zombie posting is when you're sitting there on your couch, the TV's on, or maybe it's not, but you're bored. You're, you're just hitting the share button perpetually. You're not thinking about what you post. You're just posting because you have nothing to do and it's a habit to go online. The question you need to ask yourself is, how can you serve your community online? How can you serve your, your friends, your neighbors, your followers online? through either acts of service, words of encouragement, prayers. Um, who are your friends? Who are your followers? That's another question to ask. Are they believers? Are they Mormons? Are they Jehovah's Witness? Are they, um, do they go to church? Um, what is, who are your friends? What do they like to do? What are their favorite movies and music? And um, those are questions you need to ask yourself and investigate a lot of times a simple gift card to someone because they have a favorite restaurant that they talk about a lot on Facebook is really great to mail to them or to hand to them as a surprise if they're having a tough week sometimes your your service is just simply sending them a private message to talk to them um, and make them you know feel less alone um, if social media is as isolating as people are writing about, then why are we isolating people? So instead of zombie posting, ask yourself this. Based on the words of wisdom from someone I don't remember some time ago, will you respond or react to a post? The best thing to do is to respond. And you can do that if you can't think of something nice to say or think of something in a calm tone. You can, as you can see on the screen, go to the upper right-hand side of the screen where this little down arrow is. You hit it, and down pops the menu, and there's a save link. You can save that post, that link, or that video for later viewing when you can have more time to think about your response. Now, if you go over to the left of your desktop or laptop, you'll see the saved um, file over here. You click on that and you'll be able to see all the files that you've saved. So the question now becomes how will you respond to someone's post? How will you use social media to build a relationship? One of the question is, is what is the use of social media? Well it's no different than a conversation or why would you go to a program that you're not interested in with a friend? You're building relationships. Why would you, why, that's what social media is supposed to be for. And you can do that. The Christian community can do that if we can think about what we post before we post it. Um, you will never do it perfectly, but here's some suggestions on best practices. One, if somebody uh, needs practical help, connect them with a ministry in their area that can help them with that practical help. Do it on their behalf with their permission. Second, um, respond, not react, and engage them in a discussion, not a debate. Once you offend them, once you debate them, you're done. You can't get farther than that. Um, move, uh, lastly, move the conversate, try to move the conversation from a public forum to either messenger or email or text. And that way it's just you and your friend and you can talk more freely because sometimes if you're talking in an unfriendly forum, it can become a haven for trolls and you don't really want that if you're trying to serve your friend. 
So last thought, think of social media as serving, not self-serving. Every time you go online, ask yourself, how can you serve your friends and find ways to engage them rather than just hit a whole bunch of likes or by habit share things. Don't be a zombie. Be an intentional, missional Christian. All right, I will see you next week.